Hello, welcome to the Rise of Purple Phoenix, the Bicentive Empire Knight of Honor 2 campaign YouTube series. I am currently experimenting with this new style of video edit. If you find this style of gameplay highlight more enjoyable, feel free to click on the like button and leave a comment on your favorite moment of the video. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon for more interesting content. Thank you. And I hope you like the video. Enjoy! Oh, we become a great partner. Good, 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 good. Okay, let's check it from das here. Sind die we are rank, we rank last in the great power. great power. <laughs> but Sweden is. Politische Übersicht. Oh yeah, yeah. This this was during the this was this was one hundred years before the Great Northern War. Right? This is also the the rise of Sweden as the Lion of the North. Yeah. Oh, it did. Oh yeah. To think all those still alive. Uh, I think they will be crossed by Poland and Lithuania soon. Yeah, that's unfortunate. And if you are if you are uh, you for you for a paradox player, you will be you will be thinking of why can't I just play white in this game? No, this game actually encourages you to play tall. And and what the hell did you order? Did you lose your wall? Holy crap, to the new order. You are mad, right? <laughs> Viking just doing that thing. Yeah. <laughs> just you say Viking thing. Well the Ottoman ruler before the era. Yeah, basically it's Sulay yeah, basically the Suleiman the Great as well as uh I forget the I forget the prince I forget his heir name, the one that got killed by killed by Suleiman. Ah. Ah never mind. Let's, let's continue the game. Okay, let's build a barracks now. I need 700 more gold. Uh, maybe I should try to upgrade my... Let's not do that yet. How about marketplace? So gain more gold. Uh, let's upgrade my marketplace. So that I can trade more. So this will provide me two more. Two. Oh, this provide... Oh, yeah. I upgrade the wrong one. Okay, this will provide me two. And this for I me mean, four. Okay, good. Yeah, Prince Mustafa, Prince Mustafa, Prince Mustafa, the one, the the very good, the very good prince who is very good at riding horses. Appease my clergy. Ah, uh, the one good thing playing as Byzantium is that my religion is with my religion is orthodox, meaning that I don't have to. Lose my clergy opinion since there will be no event on trying to improve relationship, improve relationship with the paper state as well as the as well as the crusade. So I think I will do this. Um, what's the what's the buff? Actually, I get a lot of buff if I okay. Let's try to improve relationship with them. Eventually, this will be good for the long run. Well, before like Ohan, Bayezik and Mehmet first. It's great too. They're just overshadowed by the center. Yeah, basically they build out the foundation. Each king build out the uh, each sultan sultan build out the foundation of kingdom. And eventually they implement the Suleiman policy where they accept every every of the brother scholar in the kingdom and build up build up the uh, build, build up the foundation for the uh, Ottoman Empire. Uh Kama Union doesn't exist. Uh Kama Union got dissolved and technically they exist, yeah, but but this game it's mostly about sandbox. Yeah, so I don't I don't think they they will do this. Yeah. Thank yeah, look at it. Technically there is like for example the king of King of Norway is married to the princess of Princess of Denmark. And Sweden as usual doing Sweden thing where they're going to rebel any and anytime soon. I don't think there's any scripted event. Since the AI the AI behavior is randomized. So if you are if you are too strong military, everyone will try to attack you. 
But if you build out your economy only, uh, as long as growing up, grow, grow a city to have a lot of population, then the AI will not attack you. On, they will only try to do trade agreement with you, mean that you are safe. Yeah, literally unplayable. Yeah, if you are par <laughs> literally unplayable. Yeah, I'm, I mean, yeah, those who are familiar with the older game as well as Paradox series, we, we tend to try to do warfare, right? But turns out that Knife, Knife on the 2 is actually a lot more, a lot more better economic simulation game when you compare to Seek Victoria 3. Yeah, I play about, I really play around 300 hours in Victoria 3, and I can, I, I can, I can be, I can only honestly say that Victoria 3 is actually a very bad economic simulation game since it does not actually simulate a lot of stuff. A lot of product being produced are actually born out of nowhere. The supply and demand, there's no, there's no cap in supply and demand, and the inflation does not exist as well. Yeah. <laughs> so if you compare the game, the game state of this game, Knife Owner, this game actually much better. Okay. Who said X game Lithuania? I thought they are... Oh, they are Slavic. Oh, that's unfortunate. Wait, I thought Lithuania is... I thought they are Christian kingdom. Oh yeah, I forget about this game is sandboxing, so it might not be historically, historically accurate. Paradise Waka Waka, go turn out... You go get a ton of DLC, so we Malaysian tak mampu beli. <laughs> well, I think... Two months ago, there's a sales, right, where you, where you spend about 50 ringgit, you can buy all the DLC. I think it's Humble Bundle. Yeah, the, U the Humble Bundle oh, Ukraine, so Ukraine sales where you can buy all the DLC, very cheap. But I think, uh, I think there will also be an upcoming sales at the year end, where you can also buy a lot, a lot, all the DLC at $1. Okay, so this is my second son. And you are also a spy. Eh, all DLC, huh? Yeah, all DLC being sold for one dollar. And two months ago, there's a there's a U something like something like support Ukraine sales by Humble Bundle where they sell all the DLC for fifty ringgit. Yeah, that yeah. <laughs> Three game of FIFA, yeah. Okay, so my second son. Assist elopement. Wait, what? There's an elopement mechanic. Wow. Okay, so I'll just do this now. So now I have a second spy. Crap. But you are a better spy, so I think I'll use you to spy on the Ottoman. Wait, where's Ottoman? Ottoman, Ottoman. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, M, O, 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 O. Okay. <laughs> okay, no 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 worries about it. you can actually still get it. I think in the upcoming months there's there will there will be another sale for why from what I read from the from the from the from the Okay, you know, I like, okay, okay, lucky, 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 okay, okay, okay. Time to... Okay, let's try to do deterrence mechanic. Okay, so, let's get as many... As many... <laughs> Pizza. <laughs> Pizza army. Pizza, the great Pizza army of the Ottoman Empire. Okay, you come here. The great Pizza army of the Ottoman Empire. Now, they are ready to fight. Right. At the meantime, I'll try to delay the war. Uh, technically, wait. I thought I have a vessel. Where's my vessel? Why is my vessel not coming? Oh my god! Vessel won't help me. Then what's the point of having a vessel? Okay, I will attack you later. So first, I will just try to make sure that you are being isolated. Okay, 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 okay. The pizza, are they going to farm first or what? Um, nah, they are, they are just going to, they are just going to become, become my, become my vanguard. Yeah, they are not my mid They are my vanguard. Vanguard, remember that. There's a difference between mid and vanguard. 
since my commander is a very, very... Mein Wissen ist gestiegen. Very competent commander. Like, look at this. He's a, he's a level 1 commander with the few tactics yet. Meaning that he's a very good he's a very good army commander. Meaning that I will mean that I'll be using my my prison effectively. Is there, so there will be my vanguard where we will secure this victory easily without wasting too much life. Unlike those medieval command unless other commander in the medieval period where they'll be using the the prison as a mid shield. Alright, let's continue the game. Yeah, my hair. Alright, so I need to save go save money for my barracks. Uh, I think I can send my second son to spy on Bulgaria. Okay. Alright, the army. Okay, so Bowman. Oh crap! That was bad. Meine Truppen warten. Wir schlagen innerhalb der Mauern unser Lager auf. Why no? Why no military? Yeah. I actually made a mistake. I actually saying money to build a barracks right now. So now I can only do deterrence mechanic where I try to deter them from attacking me. And it seems that like they have a lot of bowmen. So I have to avoid fighting them. There's no population. Oh, okay. That's bad. Alright, so let's try to deter them from attacking me. Okay, so my army is now bigger. Try to get... Okay, what do you have? Merchant opinion. Okay, good, good. I'm now getting more gold. Uh, do I have any... Okay, there's, there's, there's no there's no mercenary. Uh, that's unfortunate. I hope the prison knows how to use switch cards. Oh no, they, they don't need to use switch cards. All they need to do is... Is use... Is use their hearts and... Is use their hearts, mind and their body. To, def to defend... To defense against the heretic Bulgarians who are evading our land. Uh, let me try calling the Serbians then. I'm calling the Serbians to secure my victory. No, 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 no. Oh, <gasps> yes! Serbia is helping me. Yes, this war is, This war... Yes. But you are also at war with... Ragusa. I mean, just one enemy, so it should be fine. Yeah. Wait, Ragusa is an... Wrestler of... Wrestler of... Hungary. Hungary does not join. Oh, so if I attack Puppet, there's a chance the the Overlord will not join. Ooh, interesting, interesting. Okay, okay, so at least Serbia will help me now. Yeah. Okay, so I just infiltrated the Ottomans and also the Bulgarians. 